Welcome back. Well, when people hear PMI or private mortgage insurance, they might be thinking, oh man, I don't want to have to deal with that. It's an extra on my monthly mortgage. I can't wait until it actually goes away. But there's also a bright side to PMI and Karina Carlson and Amber Carlton to Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties Real Estate Agents are here to explain what that is all about. Good morning. Happy Thursday to you both. Good morning. It's great to have you with us. Um, Amber, let's just talk about a mortgage for a moment and, and what goes into that whole monthly mortgage payment. Absolutely. That's an excellent question. And a lot of people don't think about what all makes up their monthly mortgage. So the first thing is your balance or your principal. That's the entire dollar amount of the mortgage. You also have your taxes, special assessments, if you have those, <laughs> um, regular homeowner's insurance, sometimes flood insurance if you're in that area. And lastly, PMI, which stands for private mortgage insurance. Not everyone will have this, but a lot of people do, especially when you're putting down less than 20%. And this really protects the bank and their investment when they give you that mortgage. So if people default, that insurance is there to help them. And Karina, speak to that a little bit. What, what are some of the benefits of private mortgage insurance? You know, I would say the greatest benefit of private mortgage insurance is that it allows you to get into your home sooner. You know, when you think about saving up 20% for a down payment, it can take a really long time. And for some buyers, it's just not realistic. But with private mortgage insurance, you can get into a home for as little as 3% down. It will increase your payment to some extent, but again, you're getting into a home sooner. And um, you get to save your cash on hand that you may have already saved up. And then, Amber, you hear a lot about, you both have mentioned this whole 20% down thing, um, but and then if I put that down, that helps me avoid the PMI. Is that still the situation, or should I be looking at another strategy? Yeah, that's kind of the age-old advantage, is save 20% down, go buy your home, avoid that PMI. But really, in our current market situation, with interest rates, it's 2%. Um, I would look at it a little bit different differently personally and talk to your lender, reach out, get some more information. But if you think about it, if you're renting right now, if you're just putting that money at rent, let's say you get into a home with 3% down, or honestly, there's even programs where you can put 0% down and get into that home right away. Well, now you're gaining equity and you have this internal savings account in a house that you can use to upgrade the home or upgrade to a new home. You don't have that when you're renting. So it, it's probably, in my opinion anyways, and I know Karina feels the same, more advantageous to get into that home sooner. Another thing you could do is stash the extra money in a savings account for what if, or use it to upgrade that home. Nice. And then Karina, how long am I paying PMI for? So generally speaking, um, you keep paying private mortgage insurance until you paid off 20% of your home. Um, and it's based on your payoff schedule. So if you're scheduled to pay off 20% in three years or five years, that's when you'll stop paying PMI. But there are some variables. For example, if you're paying more on your principal every month, you're paying down your mortgage faster, so you'll reach 20% sooner, um, so you can stop paying private mortgage insurance. But you'll want to know that it doesn't automatically fall off at that point. You need to stay in touch with your lender so uh -huh. you can work with them to have it removed sooner. And if you make any major home improvements and bring up the value of your home, you can remove it sooner as well. Guys, i got to wrap it up real quick. How can people get a hold of you? Yep. Um, for Amber, you can call 701-640-8326 or amber.realtor. And I'm at 701-639-3509, or you can find me on Facebook at Farina Carlson Realtor. Beautiful. Guys, great job. We appreciate it, and have a great, great rest of your day, okay? You do. Thank you very much. All right, stick around. we got much more coming up right after this.